Hi, Sag. This is Nayla Latrice. I am here to do a read for you. The messages I was getting as I was meditating over your energy was let go and resist. There was another R word and I cannot think um, a word the Spirit is giving me right now is rejuvenate. That was not the word though, but I do feel um, pretty much you're, you could be having a hard time letting something go. You need to go ahead and let it go. Stop resisting the change that is here. I feel like you may have had a lot of hardships, um, a lot of things that have taken a place um, over the course of um, the past few months, the past few days, the past few years, um, your life, whatever the case may be. But Spirit is saying to let all of that go. Let all of that um, that negative energy go and start focusing on you. Start focusing on the new, okay? Yeah, you guys could have been um, caught up in just a lot of negative thoughts and patterns and things that were not serving you. And Spirit is telling you to let that go. I'm trying to think of the other word. It was another R word. But um, I do feel like there's something that you are resisting. But it was a word to say move forward, pretty much. It, the meaning of the word um, I could translate to say move forward. Maybe that's why Spirit gave me rejuvenate. Um, but um, it's just time to move forward. It's time for something new. Let go of the past, all of that past energy, okay? It seems like you do have a lot of good news, a lot of good energy that is coming towards you. You guys are walking away from anything that is not emotionally fulfilling. Let's um, up and we're not going to pull these first. Actually, um, we're going to pull your overall energy and see what messages Spirit has for you overall. All right, Sag. I hope you guys have been doing well. Whoa. Seventh Chakra, Archangel Uriel. And then we have Envy. You guys could be envious of somebody and that's something that you guys need to let go of. Um, be honest with yourself if that is the case. You don't want to be envious of anybody and if you are, j then just do the work to to, to remove it out of your um, energy, okay? Or either this is saying somebody around you is envious of you and what you have going on, okay? And either way, you don't want to be around people that's like that, okay? Uh, what Oprah said, you can't be friends with people who want your life. So if people are envious of you, you can't be friends with those type of people. You can't have those type of people in your life because they're going to always want what you want. I just saw two, two, two. And um, that means they're not going to go after it for themselves. They're going to always be trying to snatch it up from up under you as you do all the hard work. But you have major change that is here for you. You have a lot of partnerships. You may have a lot of decisions that you need to make as well. We have, um, like I said, seventh chakra archangel Uriel. Um, I feel like you guys are very intuitive. You guys know. You guys just know what you know what you know. And I feel that spirit is telling you that your um, crown chakra right now is off the charts. It's off the roof. Anybody that comes around you, it's like people know that they can't play with you or mess with you because they already know that you know ahead of time. So when people step to you, they step correct. It's like you're out here shining like the goddess that you are. You're a goddess, Sag. You're a goddess. Or a god. Take it how it applies. Or how it fits you. Your angels around you, you're surrounded by angels. You're surrounded by your spirit team. You're very enlightened at this time. Many of you guys are spiritual workers, light workers, readers, Reiki masters, or practitioners. Mm -hmm. You guys are helpers. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of knowledge, a lot of wisdom, I feel. A lot of mystical energy around you. A lot of mystical energy around you at this time, Sag. Excuse me. A lot of mystical and magical energy around you, so use it. Uh, somebody has some unexpressed love that they want to uh, share with you, I feel. Let's see what the cards have to say. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sag? Whoa. You guys are manifesting. Sag, you guys are fired up. Like I said, you know. You already know. You're manifesting. You're taking every all the, the situations that you've had, all the karmic relationships and lessons that you've learned, um, the jobs and the careers and just your entire life experiences. You're taking all of that and you're changing it from um, being one way and you're making something completely different out of it. You're, you're the alchemist. You're blending and you're mixing. I feel I'm feeling the temperance uh, energy here. 
you're blending, you're mixing, you're making sure everything is good and perfect for you. And this is how you're manifesting your life. And people around you are wondering how you're doing this, but it's because you're very focused, which is why we have this here. You're very focused. You're very knowledgeable. You know what you're doing. You're consciously and intently and purposefully manifesting something. You are the star here. You're healing as well. But this is you with the formula. This is you with the formula and mixing and baking here. Spirit, what messages do you have? I also feel like someone wants to manifest you. Whatever you've done in the past, is, it's, it's, it's um, coming back around to you, whether good or bad. So what, what, it's time to reap what you have sown, is what I'm hearing. It's time to reap whatever you have sown, Sag. Some of you guys have sown big, beautiful gardens. Big, beautiful, abundant gardens. You guys have been, you guys have planted the seeds. You guys have nurtured them. You guys have watered them. You guys have done, spoken to it nicely. You guys have done everything you needed to do to create these gardens, these metaphorical gardens in our minds, in your minds. And it's what um, is bringing your manifestations to fruition, What, no matter if it's good or bad. But many of you guys are focusing on a lot of good things. Look at this. We, You're blocking somebody. You're blocking something out. You're blocking people out. And people don't like this. You're dropping dead weight. Because you're manifesting. You, you're, you're receiving signs and synchronicities and messages about people that are around you. And so you're just cutting them off and you're letting them go. And some of them are just like, well, why did they let me go? Even though they know what they were doing, so to speak. Even if they don't know what they're doing or what their energy brings, you know you don't want that in your life anymore. And spirit allowed you to be aware of their energy or who they truly are. And you're letting go of certain people. You're cutting people off. You're blocking people because you're not going to allow that to interfere with your manifestations. No, sir. No, ma'am. You said not today. Yeah, people ain't getting in my way. Yeah, this uh, Ace of uh, Wands here, uh, not Wands, um, could be having uh, Ace of Wands energy here. However, this Ace of uh, Swords here, you're having clarities and breakthroughs for you in your personal life uh, right here. And again, this is how um, you're able to know who to cut off. You're receiving a lot of clarity, a lot of downloads on how to um, move forward in your personal life as well. I'm going to this over here. Yeah, you're making a decision to step into your personal power. Some people have some regrets about you. They know that they treated you wrong. But you're leaving these people in, in, in the dust. You're leaving these people behind and you're moving forward. You're, you're saying, hey, they got, they got stuck where they are, but I have to move forward. I feel like some of you guys are musicians. 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 I was thinking magic and music at the same time. You guys are very magical. Like I said, magical and mystical at this time. A lot of people are kind of wondering what you guys are doing or um, what's next for you guys or how you're doing what you're doing, but it's because you're the alchemist. It's almost like you're just making things appear out of thin air and people are just really amazed at how you're making this happen. You found the key. You found the key to manifestation and to alchemy. You know what to do now. And therefore, you're using it to your advantage. You're, you're, you're using this power. You're harnessing this power. Look at you. This is you right here. You're harnessing this power. And you're doing what you have to do to close out the old chapters. And to walk into the new chapters. To manifest the life that you desire. Mm -hmm. Look at this. We have a secret love here. There's a secret love here. Let's see what comes out on this last row. However, there is a secret love that is here. Somebody wants to express to you how they feel about you. Mm -hmm. Spare what message? Oop. Somebody is ready to give you something, but this is also spirit saying you did what you were supposed to do. You did it. You did it, Sag. You did it. And this is spirit rewarding you with whatever it is you are manifesting. It looks like it involves some money. Uh, your money is balancing out for you right now. Sp this is spirit blessing you. This is spirit. And this is you being blessed. And others around you. There's other people that have been doing the work too. It's time. Spirit is handing out blessings. Spirit is saying, hey, for everybody that did the work, here's your blessings. For those of you, of you that didn't do your work. 
Here's the work that you did do. And look what I said, the temperance. You guys are definitely musicians. Uh, there's a lot of musicians that I'm talking to or creative people that I am talking to. But with this temperance card, you guys are really balancing things out. The blessings that the universe is giving to you right now is also going to help you balance out. It's going to help you with your creative endeavors and your creative blessings. I feel like you guys are meeting people. I'm hearing executives. You guys are meeting some, some big executives, um, whether this is in the music industry, whether this is in your career industry, as um, far as corporate or anything. You guys are meeting with big execs. I feel like you guys are signing contracts. Mm-hmm. People are wanting what you have, and I feel you don't even know it. You know it, but you didn't know that it was like that. It's like, dang, okay, I don't know it was like that. I just saw that two of wands. Yeah, making decisions, stepping into your own power, and um, living up to uh, the persona that you that you know is you, that of who you are. You're showing yourself more to people and to the world. Whatever you are receiving, everything that is going on in your life right now is just bringing you nothing but full happiness, love, peace, joy, acceptance, appreciation. This is what's now starting to happen. I feel like you're starting to feel the energy every day that you wake up. You're able to feel a shift in energy. And every day you wake up, it just gets more happy and blissful and better and better. That is the path that, that you are on if you're not on it already. All right. Again, your finances could have been just, you know, just not good. No bueno. Somebody from the past wants to return. Somebody from the past is sad that you cut them off. You could be cold-hearted toward them or they could have been being cold-hearted toward you. And that's why you let, let them go. Your money is balancing out for you. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sag? What messages do you have for Sag? What messages do you have for Sag? Mm, too many. You have an emperor or a boss that's on its way to you, though. This is also you being the boss and bossing up. Mm-hmm. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sag? What messages do you have for Sag? If you guys are interested in a personal reading um, or Reiki services, then you guys can uh, click on the link down below. All right. We have Strength. Let's go on and get the rest of your cards out. We have the Hierophant. And let's get one more. Up here, said, leave that for a surprise. Ooh, we have the Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, somebody is so heartbroken. I feel like somebody did have you in a third party situation. I do feel like somebody was playing around or could have been playing around. This is why they have a lot of regrets. And this is why you're blocking them. This is why you're moving forward to another level. This is why you're cutting all these people off. Because not only was this um, just one part, your ex or whoever, the person that you're with, um, hurting you. And actually, um, I feel that there was another person, another man or another woman. However... Um, this is you saying, I'm done with this energy. You are done with this Three of Swords energy. You don't want it anymore. And this is why you're deciding to cut all of these people off and move forward with your own manifestation, Sag. And this is why Spirit is also blessing you here as well. You have been so strong. And I feel like it's going to take a lot of strength for you to continue to block these people off. It could be so many or the emotions could just be so strong where you're really going to have to um, um, prepare yourself and, and almost tame yourself, tame your own mouth, tame your own actions so you don't pop off or go off or do anything that you may regret. Um, don't allow these people to get to you. They see you happy. They see you looking good and feeling good and doing the work and they want to stop you mm -hmm. i feel like whatever you're dealing with is very very strong you have to almost quote unquote manhandle um these, these these energies, these people, these situations that are coming around you. But Spirit is telling you that you have the strength to do so. Again, that karma you see above her head, whatever you have put out is coming back to you right here and right here. And it's all above your head. It's all about your knowledge right here. This is all about knowing your knowledge. Spirit says to continue to block these people. They don't deserve a chance with you. They don't deserve to be in your presence. Is That's the message that Spirit is saying for some of you guys. Because I feel like you guys are going to have a very hard time with letting this go. And Spirit is saying, what do you feel you deserve? What do you feel you're worth? 
Do you want to be with the type of people that are mistreating you? Block these people. Let them go. There are so many more better people at the vibration that you really want. And once you continue to let go of this energy and get to where you are going, you're going to meet all the right people and you're going to be in the right places and you're going to have the right opportunities that just flow to you because you're doing the work, okay? Continue to vibrate higher and know your worth. Know what you deserve. There is some type of commitment. This could have been a marriage that was uh, broken up. That you guys could be going through a divorce heavily here. So many of you guys were actually married or you guys were in a very long-term committed relationship. I also feel there's somebody that still wants this connection with you. This person has not let go of you. These people have not let go of you. Even if you were at a job before and you left that job, I feel like the shady co-workers and management and all of that, even though they may have treated you wrong while you were there, they know, this came out, popped out first, they know that um, that you were the best. They know that you um, were a great worker and that you did your job very, very well. And that is why they were always talking and hating. Because again, these people can't be who you are. You're so different and you're so blessed and you're so brilliant, Sag. And you have this energy, uh, this mystical, magical energy about you. And the people just hate it because they can't have it for themselves. But they can. But you're, you've actually done the work and you, you are just in that energy of being vibrant and happy within yourself and working towards that and other people are just not willing to do that so that's why you have people hating but people feel your um your presence missing they feel that you are not in their energy anymore and it's like dang i miss sag's energy i wish sag would come back around and they know that you're not they know that you've moved on and they're they people feel like they have these missed opportunities with you you're focused on your work you're focused on building you're focused on creating your brand new world you have this new world that is here for you and you're focused on um building that to make sure it is exactly how you want some of you guys could be building a home as well or building um um, redoing some type of renovations as well I'm picking up on. You guys could be opening a brand new um, space as well. And you guys are renovating that space. But there's a lot of hard work that is going on. You're very goal-oriented at this time. You're committed to yourself and your goals. Mm -hmm. And you're just leaving all of these other people behind. There's no love really here. I do feel like a lot of people have love for you, though. There's a lot of people that have so much love for you, but you're just focused on changing your world and manifesting and making sure everything turns out the way that you want it. Mm -hmm. We're going to keep going until I feel a good card on the bottom. Spirit told me to take these two. Somebody's coming towards you. There's a there's a fire sign that could be coming towards you. It doesn't have to be, but this person, um, this is going to be justice for you. This is going to be your justice. Whoever, there's somebody that's coming towards you and it's going to bring your life justice. I feel like this is future. Like this is, as, as, as you're working on all of this, this person is in the higher vibration uh -huh, of the energy that you're in. Some of you guys are going to court. You guys have to go to court as well. There's so much energy that's here. <clears throat> yeah, everything is balancing out. More temperance energy. You have a lot of balance that is, that's happening. This is how you're manifesting right now. This person is very abundant, very strategic, very powerful, very well respected. They own their owner. They own. I'm hearing car dealerships. So you may be meeting someone that actually owns a car dealership. But this person is an entrepreneur. They may wear a lot of jewelry around their neck as well or have certain necklaces around their neck. I feel like they could be spiritual symbols or spiritual necklaces. Um, this person wears a crown on their head no matter what. Even if you can't see the physical crown, they walk and act like they are a king because they are or a queen. Both of these people have crowns on. This person knows who they are and they walk like it and they're very well respected. Uh -huh. Could be dealing with a judge, something with lawyers, judge, court systems as well. The robes and so forth. Yeah, definitely dealing with um, some type of higher, um, higher authorities. Okay, so we're going to leave that there. What messages do you have for Sag? 
Again, if you guys are interested in a personal read or if, if you guys are interested in Reiki sessions, I am now able to do that for you. You guys can click the link down below in the description box. Okay, Spirit says take them. Weave, ah, sorry, thorns. Weave together the crown you deserve. So everything you've gone through, this is you weaving together your crown. We've been talking about crowns. This person that's coming into your life, it doesn't matter if they're male or female. Of course, I'm, I'm a female and this is a male energy, energy card. So I'm going to speak it in that manner. But please just take it how it applies to you. Um, but we're talking about these crowns. This person knows who they are that's coming towards you. And you're in the process of creating your crown so you can match and meet this person. Okay? And then the other one we have is storm. Every hurricane comes to an end. Yes, all that you have been through is coming to an end. Like I said, you are changing. You're in the midst of changing worlds, of changing cycles, of changing um, where you need to be. Endings are inevitable. Again, it's all coming to an end. 37, 14, or 44 could be um, meaningful for you. The 14 and 44, which is down here. And then we have 41, a lot of fours. You're finding your stability. 21, 12 over the, uh, on the timer. So you have um, a lot of new beginnings and change that is here for you. Connections that are here. Partnerships that is here for you. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sag? What messages do you have for Sag? Oh. Okay. Create art. Like I said, you guys are creatives. You guys are artists. Continue to create. Whether you guys are creating music, creating paintings, creating potions, um, whatever it is you're working on and creating, then words, a book, it doesn't matter. It's all your creation. But Spirit is asking you to cleanse your space. Clean up your area, clean up your home, um, do a really, really good deep clean. I feel like this is part of your spiritual work as well, because once your environment is clean, then you will feel clean, you will feel accomplished and, and so forth. And spirit just wants you to be in this energy, clear out all the, the stuffy energy. I feel like there's a lot of um, stagnant energy that is in your space. And this is why spirit is telling you to go ahead and clean up. Or maybe you've been saying you need to clean up your space and things are just starting to pile up. And this is your reminder to go ahead ahead and put some time on your books to go ahead and start cleaning up your space. That way you can work better. You can thrive better. You can come home to a clean environment and that is going to help how you feel overall as well. Um, I, oh, okay. That's what I was going to say. I also feel like you need to sage Palo Santo. Open up your windows. Allow, if you don't have all these allergens and pollens coming through, um, but allow that, to come, uh, allow that fresh air to come through. Open, um, turn the fans on, spray some air freshener, light some candles, some incense. It's that type of vibe, okay? It reminds me, honestly, of that Saturday morning vibe when I was growing up. Uh, we used to have to clean before we could watch cartoons, anything. I mean, my mama had us in the cleaning, baby. We used to have to wake up every Saturday, clean the refrigerator out, clean the walls, clean the baseboards. Man, we couldn't turn on no Saturday morning cartoons at all until her house was spick and span. Yeah, so... That is the type of energy that I'm getting here for you. So I am going to leave your read there. Comment below how it resonated with you and where you guys are watching from. I am recording from Raleigh, North Carolina. Please thumbs up this video and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, bye Satch.